Hello, engineers, and welcome back. I want to welcome the existing Moses users. And if this is your first time joining us, or if you are a new Moses user, welcome. I'm Georgina Maldonado, and I manage the service requests for Moses. This is the second in a series of videos where I show you how to use Moses as your engineering tool. In the first video, we showed how to install Moses. And in this video, we are going to show you your first run in Moses. We are not actually going to do any calculations, meaning engineering understanding. We are going to show a run where we show the analyses and the results, but we're more focused on knowing how to maneuver around the application and where to f what is intended with each sub window and where to find things. So having said that, let's go ahead and get started with your first Moses run. And so now let's go ahead and try just a simple analysis. So I'm here in my screen and if I go to the windows open, there's Bentley Moses Connect Edition. And if I do the pull down menu and I scroll down, you see it says Moses Executive. Okay, so that's one way of, this is one way of opening it. So I'm going to choose that way. And it'll bring up a license window. So in this license window, pick the one that is appropriate. Please be careful. Please check with your system administrator. I am running Moses Ultimate, okay? And that, that's because I work for Bentley. I get to, to use the most expensive one. Please check with your system administrators which one you're supposed to check here. Okay, so we're going to open up Moses. We're gonna hit the OK button and it's going to bring up the executive and it is going to be blank. Okay, so this is what it looks like, it's blank. So where can I find just a simple file? So Moses comes with over 400 files and they are divided into samples and tests and they are located here under Moses Connect Edition version 12 HDesk runs. Okay, and then we have the samples directory and we have the test directory. Okay. So now I'm going to go to samples and there I'm going to do a hydrostatic sample. And here, this is what I mean. We send a large amount of files. It, this, they come in pairs. They come in a command file and a data. Once, when we get to the more advanced analyses, there'll be variations as to how many data files there are or how many command files there are. But let's, we're, we're assuming this is your first experience with Moses. So we are going to need a pair. So a command file, CIF, that file, we're going to choose bstab. Okay, so I am going to drag it over here. And you see that it brought it up on the screen. And I'm going to make this side window, see it says log up here. Okay, so that means that it's going to give me a log of what it is doing. So in this middle window is where our command file is that we can, this is where we can type other things, okay. So if we were to type things and change things, we would go up here to the main bar and hit save. So under the save button, there's the project window, which tells you which project you're working on. You can have several command files open. That's come, that's come it's large. For right now, this is our first file. We only have one file open, only one file is active. And then our last file here is for rendering settings, for rendering, and we, with that, we will get to that after we run the analysis. So now let's run the analysis. I'm going to hit, come up here to the main menu where it says run. When I hit run, you will see the log file. The, this window here will populate. So here we go. So that was pretty quick, wasn't it? Okay, so you see that from beginning to end, it, was, it all happened on one screen. And you'll see that basically it's an echo of what we have here in our command file. The first line is dimensions, minus dimension, feet and kips. And that's the first thing that it's telling us it read. And the second line, and then it tells us what second line. For in model, meaning it was reading the model, it tells us where it's picking up some of the, some of the data that it's reading. Okay, and then here we get to the commands. Okay, this video is not about explaining each and every command. This video is more about getting you to have your first successful run with Moses. So I'm just going to do an overview. 
with the in state command, we put it at a condition, draft rule trim. And then with the weight command, we say, hey, Moses, find the weight, the mass property, so that I am in equilibrium. With the status BW means status buoyancy and weight, it gives me a report of the buoyancy and weight of our system. You see down here the total and the buoyancy, you see that they match up pretty well. The Z, we'll talk about that later. Okay, it's okay for the Z to be different. But anyways, we it's reporting we are in equilibrium and we're very happy with that. And then we are going to do some simple hydrostatics. So now you're probably wondering, what did I just do? So let's look at a model. So this is what our model is like. Okay, so it was just a barge, very, very plain looking barge. And you'll see that over here on the left hand side, on the left hand side, it populated and gave us some options. We can annotate. Okay, we can, um, we, we can uh, take the water off. All right. So that's how you interact. That's how you change with what you're seeing on the picture. Okay, so now let's go back to the log file. And as I said, we did we did do an analysis. We did a hydro we did some hydrostatics. We did a stability analysis. We've co computed the riding arm curves. That's what R A R M stands for, riding arm curves. Later on, you'll catch on that a lot of our commands we just kind of truncated a lot of the English words. Okay, so after we did the calculation, we asked for a report. We also asked it to be put in a SQLite database, and then we finished. Okay, so now I told you we did some calculations. Let's look at some of the results. So we will go down here. There's another menu down here with tabs. So we go to the results tab, and you see there's only one report available. When you get to the more advanced analyses, this window can be filled up with all of the different reports that are generated. Right now, this is our first run. We only did a writing arm analysis, so we're going to look at our writing arm results. So by default, it, it will show you the roll, the writing arm, the wind arm, the area ratio, and the net arm. Okay, you might be interested in other quantities. So for that, we need to move over here to the left. And here you'll see in the middle part where it says plot on dependent axes. Those are what our other options are. Okay, so we, perhaps we want to know what the draft is. So we will click and you'll see that it adds the column for draft. Okay, so um, here it, there's only 10 entries. There's only 10 rows. It's probably, you know, you probably, it's, it's easy to digest this amount of data. You can imagine if this was several pages long, it's very difficult to understand what's going on. Therefore, you probably want to look at this data in some graphic form. If you go down here to the tabs, you can, you can choose the plot and it's going to plot all the data that is currently displayed. So if we hit plot, so here is all the data. It tells you, it gives you a legend and it also prints the, the um, quant, the descriptor on the graph. It, give, it, knows, it knows when to um, add extra Y axes. Okay, and if you wanted to, you can even add or take away here if you wanted, if this is how you want to interact. Remember, we added the draft here. We can take out the draft and it, it, it will update it. So that was a prepared file. Okay, so what about if we want to change some things? Down here, I have not introduced you to the input window. You see it's this long window on my screen. So perhaps you wanted to change the condition of this barge. We can type ampersand in state minus condition. The name of the barge is C barge 180, and we want to change the draft to 6.6. .6. Let's have a roll of one degree and a pitch of three degrees. If I ask for a picture, there, it updated our picture. Okay, so this is how you would interact with Moses. If, for example, if you want, if you're interested in the picture, um, it also, if you want, you can ask for reports. Here we can do our status buoyancy and weight report again. Okay, and then here it now it is printing it to the log file. I have been working with Moses for a long time, so it's easy for me to, to know which commands I need for what report. Um, again, this was just the introductory. 
an introductory video so that you can start your first interaction with Moses. Um, the later videos, we're going to start getting a little more complicated. We'll actually start talking in more in depth about every one of these commands, the structure of the commands. Right now, there's there's a you know less. This took less than 40 lines, but there is the sequence, right? You don't want you don't want to compute a weight if you're at the wrong draft, for example. That's why we compute weight after we have been put at a draft roll and trim. So um, I hope this has been a good introductory to your first run with Moses. Please keep watching. Thank you.